Hello and welcome everyone to this week's edition of Building with Ben. Today I'm going to be covering one of the most common uses of filter code for an IFT Pro applet. So I've decided that I want my porch lights to come on every time that I come home, but I only want this to occur at night. For one, I don't need the lights to see during the day, and two, it's just a really sad waste of energy. To do this, I'm going to be connecting my cell phone location to my Wemo uh, smart switch that controls my front porch lights. And then I'm going to be querying the weather underground service to determine whether or not the sun is up or down. Before we get started, if you would give this video a really quick thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another episode of Building with Ben. Okay, so we're going to start here from the if.com slash homepage, and we are going to click create, select applets, and then we're going to start with our if this statement, which again is our trigger statement. We're going to search for location, and we've got a few trigger options here, enter an area, exit an area, enter or exit an area. We just want to click enter an area. One thing to point out about this trigger is that you can zoom in, zoom out, uh, depending on uh, how soon you want an action to take place uh, before you get there. Um, this could really come into handy when, whether you plan to be like maybe say driving to a location on a daily basis or walking. Uh, I'm gonna be walking and I want something to take place just before I get there. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and click create trigger. Then we're gonna do our then that statement, and we want to search for Wemo. As you can see, we have 11 Wemo products on the platform, but for now, we just wanna select Wemo light switch. A few action options here, we want to select turn on, and it's already identified our Wemo switch. Uh, we already have connected for front porch, so we're gonna click create action. Now for the fun part, where are we going to add a query and put some filter code with it? So we're gonna click the plus button here and click add query. And we're gonna search for the weather underground service. So you can see several query options for the, uh, the weather underground service. We're gonna choose, however, current weather. And we're gonna click create query. Then we're going to add some filter code. Click add filter. And add in our code. Now, if you're like me, uh, trying to write code is like trying to read Egyptian hieroglyphics. Um, basically, what this is saying is if, um, if it's daylight and the sun has not set, then we want to skip this action because we can't stop the, the trigger from happening, but we're going we're gonna to skip um, skip the action of turning the lights on if it is in fact still daylight outside. So we're going to click create filter and click continue. Now we're going to give the applet a name and we're going to call this turn on lights only after dark. Lights with an S. If you'd like to learn more about building with filter code, check out the video in the link above. That's Pro Tips Building with Filter Code by Andy Thackray. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you next week for Building with Ben.